we're talking to you at this point. Within the next half hour, it could be in the Canton area if it holds together. If that is the case between Kemp and Canton, Cody, if you could zoom in just a little bit on that tornado warning for me. That's where we're talking about you needing to take your tornado precautions. You want to get to the lowest floor of your home. You want to go to an interior room with no windows. Get as many walls between you and the outside of your home as possible. You want to take shelter there. If the kids are with you, put on their bicycle helmets. Put on their bicycle pads as they get into that safe spot so that if there is a tornado on the ground, they'll be as safe as possible with this. So keep that in mind. If you are getting in that safe spot, bring your phone with you. You can live stream us on your phone if you're watching very carefully, trying to see where those thunderstorms are moving, what's changing. Take your phone, your tablet with you. Take that first alert weather app so that you can stay aware while you're in that safe room. You want to stay in that safe room until either the tornado warning expires or until the threat moves out of your area. At this point, I'd say Kemp is probably in the clear. You can see where that rotation is right on the county line right now. Here's Kaufman County, here's Van Zant County, Gun Barrel City. It looks like they've dropped off that second half of the tornado warning. So now Kaufman County no longer in the tornado warning, but the tornado warning will continue for parts of Van Zant County. So it's moving over the county line right now, and we'll be moving toward the southern portions of Canton within the next 25 minutes or so. 